Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday. Good to see you all on the 20th of May. Good to see you, Andrea. Good to see you, Phil, Mark. Good to see you, Brian, John, everyone. Ken, good to see you. <laughs> and live from New York. So it looks like uh, what a great day so far we started. First of all, I just want to let everybody know it's going to be a beautiful week this week here in New York. Uh, finally, looks like the weather broke, and it's going right into one of the biggest weekends of the year. What we got coming up? We got Memorial Day coming up on the following Monday. So, guys, I'm just going to tell you exactly what the game plan is going on uh, before we start doing some trading. But before we do that, just a quick little heads up. Don't forget, classes are starting this week. Uh, we got the uh, we have the uh, open house uh, live event that's going to happen on May 22nd. And then also we have the classes phase one and phase two and phase three starting on May 21st. They'll go on all the way till next week. So don't forget, that's one of the biggest weeks of the month when it comes when we do our live trading. And we will be starting the new cycle of classes the following month. We're also going to be launching a new uh, webinar technology for you guys So um, on these upcoming new events. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it, make things a lot more smoother, a lot more easier, which is going to be great. Always looking to improve our technology. Now, what's going on this morning, everyone? What's happening with Sprint? We're going to talk a little bit about that um, and talk about what a great pre-market run that was. We guys killed it so far um, on the Sprint. But I do want to kind of remind everybody, let's talk about some current events that's going on. What's the big news? Well, we already know about the tariffs and everything else. But I think the bigger, bigger news we got to focus on is what's going on with Iran. Uh, what's happened with Iran, you know, wars do make certain stocks take off so um i want to keep an eye on some of the some of the military stocks it could be like boeing could be belvedere could be any of those uh could be a lot of uh, big stocks out there that are very big uh, Ryan, you know any of those big brand name uh, military stocks so keep an eye on them depending on what's happening uh in iran that always causes some of these stocks remember unfortunately with these catastrophes make opportunities for us as traders unfortunately for some people you know we look at it that way but that makes these stocks take off. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. But let's get right back to Sprint. And uh, guys, let me tell you, looking at these orders out here, this stock, let me just change uh, the Sprint, the one-minute chart. So anyway, Sprint made its big move right around 8.30. It looks like they're looking for that merger uh, with T-Mobile. And it looks like the, the news is back out there. And uh, you got to go back. Uh, you got to let me change this time frame over here. You got to go back. Uh, so... I called it out. There was some major resistance levels right around below $8. You could see it right here. And those guys were sitting out there. There was big, big block orders out there. So it kind of went exactly where we, we expected to go, right around 8-ish where I posted up there. And it looks like it got just a little bit above 7, uh, 780-ish. So let's keep an eye on this stock could still get out. I got out of it. I know a lot of us traded it earlier and made some good money. This was really easy for a good 50-cent move. And remember what I always joke around. I tell everybody, guys, just trade one share. Just trade one share. What do you have to lose? If you're not, if you don't have any skin in the game, you're never going to learn. But before we uh, start going through some of the watch list and talking about the sprint, uh, I wanted to talk about another stock that we traded that's also moving again this morning is the OTLK. Now, the uh, OTLK had a nice little move for the last couple of days. The stock took a huge hit. Uh, all the way down to a dollar. The stock had a big, big run up. You could see here. Let me just bring up the minute chart here. You could see how it had a really nice pop uh, last week, where it went from a buck eighty all the way to two seventy. And if I change the time frame here a little bit further, you could see the stock was almost as low as a dollar right here. So she's been really, really strong. Now, as of right now, she's in no man's land. So you got to be careful on that right now. She's like trying to do the shakes between the 260 and the 280. She had this nasty shake here from 280 all the way down to 210. I don't know what that was all about, but somebody came in with a big order. But that's going to make the Fausto watch list again. So um, as much as we traded last week, listen, you want to be a good swing trade? You damn well better know how to day trade first. I say it all the time. Pins also was a lot of fun. Was it hard to borrow, shockingly? So I know a lot of you guys did really well. That one was a pretty easy stock. Great short, midday, then it bounced after that. 
But uh, pins had that nice little pop right there, and then boom, you could see it started just trending down right there. A lot of you guys did well from 27.40 down to 26.60. You know, I'm not a big fan trading in the middle of the day, but some of us are here. You know, you can make twice as much, you know, working all day. You can make half as much and just working an hour. So depending on how you want to spend your time. But uh, but that pretty much does it, what was going on for last week, um, which is, which is uh, the, the pins was on the bounce at the open, actually. The PTN uh, is the other one I do want to point out. That one also, that was pretty uh, interesting. That Shockingly, that one was the only one that wasn't hard to borrow. That one I meant by the, the, PN, the PTN. But great, uh, great short in the midday right there, buck 70 to buck 20. All right, so what's going on this morning? So we got the sprint. And uh, let me tell you, she's holding here pretty damn strong, okay? Really holding here pretty strong. So, you know, I'll consider getting back in it again. But uh, keep an eye on the order. She's holding here pretty strong. I got out. I got out right around seven, uh, 776. It went to about 780. There you get 30,000 share orders out there. You can see them out here. But keep an eye on it. Guys, if you're not a minimum, minimum, a level two trader here at Cybertrain University, do not trade this stock. The stock will shake you, bake you. We saw the shakes already what it done. And uh, you got to be pretty advanced on that. But that one, we're going to put that on our watch list. Another couple of the ones that are moving, B-I-O-C. Oops, that's in the window. B-I-O-C, that one's also moving a lot nicer. She, oh, she's starting to make a move now. I was wondering where she was. I was looking at her earlier, and she wasn't moving, but now it looks like she's moving. Uh, but B-I-O-C, this stock, a lot of you remember this stock. We traded in the beginning of the year. This stock went from a buck all the way to about $3, um, up about 200, was that 200%? 300%, something like that, 300%, something like that. So anyway, this stock, we know it moves. Stock's got good volatility. We know it's got these um, short squeezes when they come down like this. But this one's going to make the Fausto list. FCAU, Fiat. Stock is getting destroyed, okay? So the stock taking a very, very big hit. I think they were talking about something about tariffs of, of cars or something like that. So keep a close eye on that one. The stock was a fun stock to trade. I know we did a good swing trade on this one, but... You know what? I will, I'm very interested in the stock. The stock is getting pretty close to a major support level. So it could probably be more an investment trade. But we're going to have to keep an eye and just, just you know, watch it. So remember, we just don't day trade here. We just don't over, and we also don't just swing trade. We also do investing. And this might be a good opportunity. The uh, Just bring up Boeing right here. I know they, they kind of... Dealt with some major issues. That stock took about a 100-point drop, never came back. So I just want to go back and check it out. All right. So we got a couple of good stocks over here. I, I, and like I said, we got to put the the uh, the OTLK on our watch list. You can see it's there on the biggest percentage gainers. Sprint's already there. Got a couple other ones that are up here. But I don't know. When they start getting a little spotty like this, especially being ETFs, I'm not really a fan of it, a fan of them. And, uh, you know, on the losers, the biggest loser you got there is obviously the fiat. But it is Monday, guys. I believe fiat is ex-dividends tomorrow. Really? Okay, let's see what happens. We should know that, right, Andre? An Italian company, Italian guys right out there? <laughs> and we did pretty well with the Ferrari trade. That was pretty fun. All right, so anyway, um, so you got the watch list, guys. Listen, it's Monday. Remember, we're going, you got to be very, very careful trading on Mondays other than, you know, what happened this morning in pre-market, very rarely do you find a stock like we trade like a sprint that did what it did. I mean, this is very, very rare. We only catch stuff like this in midweek, especially a brand name stock like that. But let me tell you, it was a lot of fun. And that's why early bird always gets gets the money. So don't forget this week, we got the um, we got a lot of uh, the classes that are going up. We got open house. And also, very important, you have... Market closed on Monday, May 27th. And remember, this is what we train for. So Memorial Day, for every, and I know we have people logged in from all over the world. It's a big national holiday here in the United States. So market is closed. So I expect it to be a dead, dead, dead market on Friday. Maybe even going into Thursday. So uh, just be very careful. Let's make our money. Let's make our money now and go from there. All right, guys, so uh, good luck, happy trading, and uh, we'll see you back here at 2.30 to see what's going on in the afternoon. All right, good luck, everyone.